Good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe and stick around because I upload loads of weekly vlogs and chats and hauls. And we are back with a Mother's Day haul. Loads of you wanted me to pop out and about and pick up some Mother's Days bits and pieces. So we've got some um, from Poundland, we've got some from Home Bargains, we've got some other bits and pieces. So some little ideas for you for Mother's Day, ranging from the very small presents to things that are a little bit more expensive. So I hope you enjoy it. The first present I am going to start with has been kindly sent to me and they are sponsoring this little portion of the video. I did have this set last year and I've got it again this year. It is from the lovely people at Sanctuary Spa. This is a great Mother's Day present. Now, if you've watched my kind of birthday and Christmas, what I got. Nanny San always gets me something from the Sanctuary. So it's one of our kind of family favourite brands. Now this little set is in boots and instead of £40.50 for all the stuff, it's 20 quid. What a bargain. And there's no single use plastic. It's vegan. It's all recyclable. It has in it, we've got the Wet Skin Moisture Miracle, which I've used. It's amazing. It's like, um, it's like a moisturiser that you can just put on in the shower and then like escape. So you don't have to come out, dry yourself, put moisturiser on. That's brilliant. We've got Moisture Burst Face Wash, Hill Balm, Sanctuary products. I've been keeping my heels smooth for years. Is that TMI? Maybe, I'm not sure. We've also got my favorite, the body butter, which is like the standard kind of sanctuary spa kind of lovely, lovely smell. And we've also got the white, Limmy, the white lily damask rose. Flipping it, that's a mouthful, body wash. Um, a comforting cleansing infused with rose water. So I think this is a really, really great Mother's Day present. As I say, 20 quid instead of 40 pound 50. I'm gonna leave a link below to it. I know that my mum would love it and I also know that I would love it and I also know, hey, treat yourself. If you're not a mom, you might love it as well. So thanks so much to Sanctuary. Um, it's a great little product and I can't wait to see Nanny Sam's face when she opens it on Mother's Day. Oh, disclaimer, oh. Nanny San, I hope you're not watching this video. Do you know what? As soon as I've finished it, I'm gonna message her and say, Nanny San, do not watch the Mother's Day haul video. Right, note to self, must remember. Otherwise, I've completely scuppered Mother's Day this year. So thanks again, Sanctuary. As I said, the link will be below in the description. Another thing that I have picked up that I think is a really great, reasonably priced option for Mother's Day is the Yankee Candle, the home inspiration. Set. Now, Yankee Candles, this size, are you, they're, they're over 20 quid usually. Uh, but if you get them in supermarkets, they are always a bit cheaper. So this is about 14 pounds. So you still get kind of the Yankee Candle, but it just is a little bit cheaper. This was from Sainsbury's and they had loads of lovely smells and Erin and I sat and just smelt them up. We didn't sit, we stood. Could you imagine just walking past me, just sat in a supermarket with all the candles, the testers out just sniffing them? No, we stood. And we opted for this one. It's Daisy and Buttercups. I think it's an amazing spring, fresh, Easter kind of scent. It's lovely. And I will say that the home inspiration perhaps aren't quite as strong as the standard Yankee candles, but still, they are brilliant. So that's a great Mother's Day gift. Now, I popped in to our favourite stores and I picked up my favourite bits from Home Bargains and also from Poundland. So we're going to start with Poundland and actually, bizarrely, I've gone for like two different colour palettes in each shop. So first of all, I picked up this huge, massive gin glass and it says in it, you're a gin credible mum. And I thought this would be really good. It's only a quid. You could perhaps even pop like a little um, mini gin in here with some chocolates and maybe wrap it up. So I thought that was really good, really gorgeous. And it actually doesn't look like it's from Poundland. I love things from Poundland and Home Bargains that look like they're a little bit more expensive. I also picked up this mum's tin, which I thought was really nice. And before, for my mum in the past, and I probably will again this year, you just fill it with your favourite little sweets. You could put treats in here. You could put tiny little candles in here. You could, if you're, um, you know, giving it to a mum, 
because they've got little kids they could perhaps make a little piece of art and pop it in there all sorts of things so also i love that as well this i picked up to kind of show you that you can buy it but i also think that you could make this and they had ones of these in home bargains and poundlands they are super treat vouchers and they're just things like a cup of tea or a whole day of compliments so these are really cute but they're also something really simple that you could make for your mom or you could make for a nan and i think that it's a really really cute nice idea and again that could be popped in this little tin as well as the tin in poundland they also had these lovely white baskets which were in kind of the eastery section so again you could pop any bits and pieces in here um chocolates or maybe a book anything like that oh speaking of books how could I forget to promote my own book? Yeah, so don't forget, Will I Ever Be Alone? Again, is out. I will leave below the um, links for it on Amazon. It's also five quid in Sainsbury's. And the audio book is out. So yeah, you could fill it with all sorts of bits and pieces in here and make it look really nice and pretty. So really like that. I always like to pick up a nice gift bag and... The one rule we have in our family is we don't write on the labels because you like to reuse the gift bags. So I got this one and I thought this was really nice and it kind of matched this lovely aquary blue theme. So some good bits and pieces in Poundland. Now Home Bargains have really upped their game this year. I la, 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 loved the stuff that was in it. So the first bit that I picked up were, I've had these before and I think I've mentioned them before and I've got them in pink. So I picked up a little white Forever Faux Peony Bunch in cream. And also I got these lovely vases. Now they do these vases in pink and purple and clear and... How nice does that look? I love it. I'm actually gonna keep this myself and I think I might pop it in the background there. I think it's really nice. It also really doubles up well as an Easter display. Some people don't like getting flowers um, for, you know, events because they go. So plastic fake flowers are a good option. And I think of all the ones, because they've got tulips, they've also got roses. I think the peonies look the most realistic. So love that home bargains. Now this scent I have been obsessed with. Method do a rhubarb cleaning scent, which I love using in my kitchen. And I was after like a rhubarb scent to compliment oh my god i sound like such a boring old lady i was looking for a scent to compliment um the stuff i use to clean the floors but this is a true fact and i picked up this pink rhubarb and pear this is great this would look brilliant you know you could get the basket from highland and put the stuff in for home bargains this is lovely and I had this in Erin's room so I picked up another one and also they have a candle which I have popped on my Insta stories. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram to see all kind of bits and bobs I pick up on my little travels. And it's just a gorgeous scent. I've had it on the candle in the kitchen all weekend and I absolutely love it. Now if you have little ones you might want to get this. This is a mummy and me, I love you mummy, a little frame and it has little sparkles in it. So you put like a picture of the mummy and you put a picture of the child and I think it was less than a pound and I just thought that was so adorable and I went know when my kids were really little. I'd love, in fact, I'd love something like that now. Before I've done um, like a little drawing as well. So you could even put like a picture of the kids and on the other side, get the kids to draw a picture of their mummy. Um, so yeah, I love that. I saw this and I thought, that's a bit of me, that is. That's a bit of me. They didn't have very many of these, so I do wonder if it's quite popular. It's a really nice floral pad and it says, mother like no other. They had loads of different like, like recipe card things and gardening things, but I just thought that was absolutely such a lovely, and you know I love a notepad. Um, so A5, mother like no other, love that. Another little set. And again, Erin and I didn't sit on the floor, but we did stand and smell all the scents, is this little set. And I think this is about £2.50. And it has in it peony blush, strawberry celebration, floral bouquet, and sugared violets. And I thought that was absolutely lovely. It looks really nice. And all the stuff, when I've shown you the last final few things for Home Bargains, only came to about 17 quid. 
Um, so that is, you know, you get a lot of stuff for your money. So I loved that as well. Our favourite one was the Sugared Violets, which was a very sweet, and I love the sweet swelling candles. I picked up this bag, which is the loveliest mum for 49p. So maybe get your gift bags for home bargains than Poundland because they seem to be a little bit cheaper. So I thought this was really, really nice. And then I spotted something that I've never spotted before. Mother's Day decorations. You know I love bunting. You know I love gnomes. You know I love all kinds of things that make the house look pretty. And they had Happy Mother's Day bunting which I love, and I said to Erin, I was like, Erin, I'm gonna buy this, but I'm going to give it to you to give to your dad to put up on Mother's Day. And we also had these in bloom foil balloons, and I love these, you don't need any helium, they look great, they're amazing if you like to take some nice photos. So I love those, and I thought they were really, really, really good. So that's some of my Mother's Day tips. I would definitely um, say, if you're thinking of really treating your mum to a lovely set, don't forget the Sanctuary Spa, which is £20 instead of £40.50. And I will, again, I will link it below. It's really good and it's a product I've used time and time again. And it's one of the classic kind of scents that we have in this house. And it just, do you know what? It just looks nice as well. And also, I, I would love a little gift bag basket full of all sorts of little knickknacks and treats. Um, and I love getting a little basket that's great. And also, I might do something similar for Easter and maybe actually make you up a basket. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. So thanks so much uh, for watching this video. Let me know in the comments the kind of things that your mums or nans like being treated to at Mother's Day. I would love to know. Do they like flowers? Do they like plants? Do they like smellies? What do they like? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you for another upload really soon. Make sure you subscribe. Love you lots, guys. <laughs>